Let's apply to Clackamas Community College. We'll start on the OregonGoesToCollege.org website. From here, we can use this menu option to find the page to apply to college. This is a page that has some good information about what you need to know before you apply, and then a table with links to the application pages for every college in the state of Oregon. I'm already on the Community Colleges tab, so I just need to look alphabetically to find Clackamas Community College. Click that link, and it takes me directly to the page where I can start my application. I need to decide or choose what kind of application I'm going to submit. Now, I'm going to be a new Clackamas Community College student who's interested in earning a degree or certificate. Possibly I'd like to transfer to a four-year school someday, so I'm going to choose this button. If that's not you, you'll find the button that works for you, but most of you are going to be choosing new Clackamas Community College student. Um, when I start the application, I see that there are going to be four pages and the first one is personal information. This is where they're looking for my name and a few other pieces of information. First question is my legal first name. This is the name that is on all of my legal paperwork, including my driver's license if I have one, my school transcripts. This is the official legal first name. Mine is Olivia. My middle name is Charlotte. They're looking just for my initial, so that's a C, and my legal last name. Again, what's on my official documents? Miller. I don't have a suffix, but you might. If your name legally includes junior or senior or second, third, fourth, you can choose one of those there. I'm going to leave it as none because I don't have that. Um, my chosen name. I don't actually like to be called Olivia. I don't like anyone calling me that at all if I can help it. And so I'm going to enter my nickname, the name that I want them to call me when they send me information or what the, my professors will know to call me in class. And that's Libby. If I had a chosen last name, I could choose that. I could enter that here too. Previous first and last name is about other legal names that I may have had before the name that I currently have. So the most common example for a student would be that you were adopted and changed your last name. Um, if that is the case for you, then you're going to enter what your previous first or last name was um, legally. This is all to help them match up your application pieces together. Uh, date of birth, I was born January 1st in 2003. For my social security number, I have one and so I'm going to enter it here because I know that this is going to help the college uh, match up my application with my application for federal student aid. Um, and so I want to make it as easy as possible for them, so I'm going to provide my social security number here. If you don't have a social security number, it is not required and so you can leave that blank. Um, there are a few questions the college is required to ask um, to, for reporting purposes, and it starts with veteran status. I personally don't have any connection to the U.S. military, so I'm going to choose not applicable. If you have an immediate family member, like a mother or a father who is a veteran or a current service member, you'll want to choose one of those. If you don't have any connection to the military, you can choose not applicable, just like me. Um, here, legal sex designation, it's important to know this is your opportunity to share your gender identity. However, it is important to know that if you are applying for federal financial aid, the designation that you enter here needs to match what is on your social security card. Um, that is true for students who are applying to, for federal student aid. Um, it does need to match. Questions about ethnicity and race are optional. I am going to choose to answer this question and I am Hispanic or Latino so I'm going to choose that and then also I'm going to choose white as my race and click next for the second page. This page is all about my contact information, the opportunity for the college to get in touch with me to give me the information that I need to be able to enroll and begin my college classes. So my address first, this is an address where I can receive mail and 
me to enter that here and I am required to provide at least one phone number. And so I'm going to do that as well. Now, select phone number type. This is my cell phone, and that brings up a box um, that I can check if I want the college to be able to text me. Um, usually this will be for things like reminders about making sure that I send them additional information or when my orientation will be. I like getting text reminders. It's much easier for me, and so I'm going to say yes, please, I consent to that. They will sometimes send me email, email messages though, and I need to have an email address, preferably one that is being used for all of my college information and that I'm checking regularly so that I um, am getting all the information I need about my next steps. And so I'm going to enter that here. Of course, they asked me to enter it twice because it's so easy to mess that up. And so they just wanna make sure that I've entered it correctly. Emergency contact information. This is if something were to happen and the, while I was on the campus and they needed to let somebody know, who do I want them to let know? I'm going to choose my mother, Jennifer Miller, and her phone number there. Clicking next brings me to the third page of the application. I'm already half done. This page is about what I intend to study. And um, so I know, and the first one is, when do I plan to start classes? I'm going to graduate from high school in 2021. And so I want to start classes as soon as possible after that. That's going to be summer term 2021. The next bit is about choosing what I want to study. Now. I haven't 100% decided what I want to study yet. However, in order to be eligible for federal financial aid, I need to have some idea and be able to indicate that when I choose a program of study. This is gonna help the college understand what kinds of classes I'll want to be taking so that they can plan better um, and they can help to advise me well. I'm not entirely sure which program of study I'm interested in, so I'm going to look under this button, and um, I have these options. There's a variety of different options, and you can see these ones, which are financial aid eligible. That is what I'm looking for. I want to apply for financial aid because I know that I will need it to help me pay for college, and so I need to make sure that the program that I'm planning to study in is going to allow me to have financial aid. And so I'm going to choose one of these. I'm interested in social sciences. I think maybe I'd like to be a social worker someday. And so I'm going to choose social sciences, human services, and criminal justice. I know that, that uh, again, that I'm going to need financial aid and I'm this is a financial aid eligible program. So I'm going to choose that. And then they're asking me to confirm, yep, this is in fact what I want to study. So that program of study is selected and I can choose next. Last page, almost done. They're interested in knowing about my current educational or my previous educational background. First question they wanna know is, am I the first person out of my parents or guardians to attend at least some college? The college is interested in knowing this possibly because it helps them to know if I, if there might be some programs that they have to help me um, and as a first generation college student. And so they just wanna know if that's me so that they can give me the information I need to access different kinds of programs or support. For me, I am a first generation college student. Neither of my parents have attended and so I'm going to choose yes. I am still in high school. I haven't graduated yet. I'm planning to graduate in 2021. My high school GPA I got from my transcript that my high school counselor provided me access to and I have a 3.2. School name is, I go to Corvallis High School. So I'm going to type in Corvallis High School and I'm gonna click find high school. Oh, there are two different options here and I don't know which one is the right one. So I'm gonna select the first one and check to see. Corvallis High School in Corvallis, Montana. Not the one I'm looking for. I'm gonna remove that school selection and try again. Corvallis High School is still there. 
find high school. And this time I'm going to select the second and see if that's the right one. Corvallis High School in Corvallis, Oregon. That's the one, I'm going to leave that there. If I had attended college previously and I'd taken any classes um, in, uh, at another college before, I would enter that information here. This is gonna help them um, know which transcripts they need to see to make sure I get all of my credit. I haven't attended any college classes before, so I'm going to leave that blank. No, I am not a robot. This CAPTCHA is just to help me um, make sure that they know that I'm a real human being filling out an application and not a robot doing that. And so you know how to do this. Just go ahead and click all of those to show that you're not a robot. There are no fire hydrants here. I'm just going to click skip. And now everything is ready to go. I'm done and I can click submit on my application. And that's it. You're done. You've applied. Congratulations.